Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up my fitness planner for the first full week of September. Right, you guys. So yes, we are actually in my new, like I set up this new Franken planner um, for September, October. So I'm kind of excited to get into it because it's a little bit thinner <laughs> than my last planner. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I think, uh, first of all, the first thing you can see is I will be using the vertical layout this month. I teased that enough <laughs> last month, but I am switching layouts each month because I really enjoyed back in July when I switched it out each week. So I figured let's just keep it going, but let's do each month. And as you can see, I have not decorated my monthly calendar. And I think I'm actually going to be utilizing this a little bit differently. We'll kind of talk about that as I go forward with the decorating or the setting up. I guess it is more decorating than setting up because there really isn't anything to plan because this is more of a tracker than a planner. Actually, it is a tracker and not really a planner because I don't plan anything. Um, as you could have seen during the intro, this is a sticker book I'm using. I want it to kind of take it back to Happy Planner stickers and use a non-fitness kind of sticker book. So this is, was it the Papillon? Papillion, Papillon, I don't know how you say it, but you know, this is one of those sticker books that have some pretty decor in it as well as a lot of function. So I think I can have fun with it, especially in the vertical layout. Now we have a vertical layout, which I mean, I have plenty of space to add everything I generally add in my fitness tracker. However, I think I'm going to change things up this month. The one thing I'm thinking I'm going to do, so if you have been following me since I started doing these plan with me's for my fitness planner slash tracker, and that's been since the beginning of this year, then you know that I usually write the actual workouts I do in boxes. And when I say the workouts I do, like if I do an on-demand workout, I actually list the specific workout. So the instructor, the date, stuff like that. So if I ever wanted to go back to it, I can. I think I'm gonna put that this month on my actual calendar. There's enough room here. And the reason why I'm gonna do it is because I feel like I can like do a quick look and then see the workouts that I've done and maybe go back to it versus having this whole filled up and having to flip through. So I just feel like it might be a quick reference to maybe refer to it and redo a workout or something like that. We'll see. I've never done that before since I have been doing this type of fitness tracking. So we're going to see how it goes, which means at the moment, the only thing that I would be adding in here is the weights that I'm using as well as my Apple watch stats. So I might add some extra stuff. We'll have to see. I might, I mean, obviously I'm going to be adding some extra stickers for decor, but as far as like tracking, we might be adding some other stuff. And I think I need to get back in my food game. And what I mean by my food game <laughs> is I kind of need to track my food a little bit better. And I had tried to do like a meal planner section last month with some meal tracking thrown in. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. First of all, I'm going to use this sheet because I think it is kind of fallish and I know it's still hot out, but to me, September is kind of, it's like the start of fall and I want to use it. But, um, let me get back to, I just, I just have not been good. And for some reason, when things are in a different planning section, I just have a tendency not to like use it. So I might actually use it here. Um, so we'll see. Of course, now I'm putting big stickers on the page. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see if I, if I'm getting a little too sticker happy, but you know, I only have a little sticker that I create myself for my actual, um, Apple watch that. So I do have a little bit of extra room where I can put some other things. So we'll see. I, I just, I have to, I'm kind of thinking of thinking about it as I throw these stickers down. That's why I wanted to decorate first. Um, 
yeah, it's, it's definitely, this is definitely going to be a trial and error type thing. And that's the one thing I think I really am enjoying about using these different planner types. And I kind of learned this when I was trying to figure out the right kind of planner for both my social media planning as well as for my, I don't like how this looks so like symmetrical to that other one. <laughs> They're pretty much in the same exact spot. But for my catch-all and my social media planner, I kind of felt like me trying different planners, not only did it help me find planners that worked best for me, but I was, I, it helps me figure out things that I wanted to track and ways I wanted to track them. Um, for example, in my um, catch-all planner, I had, you know, I'd use the vertical. And what I realized with the vertical is I do like separating. So I like having the separation, which I did not have when I used the dashboard. But what I liked about the dashboard is the task list. Well, now I think I have found planner piece with the exception of the fact that it is a coil pound planner <laughs> and my stickers are making it super thick. <laughs> That's the only thing that is kind of making it a little bit difficult for me. But um, <laughs> other than that, I think I might have found some type of planner piece because I'm now using like the Go-Getter Girl, which kind of has a vertical, well, at least in the spiral bound that I'm using, I'm using their five and one system, which has the vertical layout followed by the daily layout. So I'm pretty much getting the best of both worlds in one planner, and that is working wonders for me. So with that said, the reason why I said that is because I'm trying out these different ones. Yes, the original intent of me trying out these different planners was because I was getting bored with using the gratitude layout month in and month out. However, <laughs> um, the kind of secondary advantage that I didn't really think about initially is I'm kind of getting new ideas of how to track things. And it kind of started, I didn't do this last month. But it was something that I was kind of thinking about and I didn't think about until it was a little too late. But one of the things I was considering is I was sitting there and I was like, okay, so, you know, I was using the horizontal and sometimes it was hard to fit everything in the horizontal. And that's when I kind of got the idea of, oh, you know, it probably would have been a good idea to track some of, you know, maybe track my... um my workouts or even my Apple Watch stats in the actual monthly versus in the weekly. And I have tracked my, my Apple Watch stats in my monthly before. So I have done that before. Um, that's not a problem. I don't mind doing that. The reason why, if I'm being honest, the reason why I switched it back to the weekly is when I don't work out, the entire spread is empty. So if I track it in my weekly, at least I can have some pin on that spread. That, I'm just being completely open with you guys. That's the reason why I now track it. <laughs> that is why I track it on my weekly. Because I, you know, when it comes to fitness, there may be weeks that there is not that much pen in there, right? <laughs> so if I at least put my Apple Watch stats on there, there will be some pen. Um, so that's the reason why I did it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have never tracked my workouts on my monthly and I kind of got that idea when I was working in the horizontal and trying to find room for everything. And I figured, you know, because I didn't think about it till I was kind of already in the horizontal and I had already started writing some stuff in my monthly calendar, couldn't really do much <laughs> at that point. So I figured I would try it this month. So that's what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> but I just got to figure out how I'm going to do this because I still want to track the weight size I'm using. And that, you know, I had a whole discussion about that 
when I was showing my, my fitness, my, what's well, not my fitness, but my, um, I could probably do that or I don't know. Now I'm getting, it's too many of these same butterflies. Um, <clears throat> when I was, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. So I'm trying to think of where to put this last sticker. <laughs> but when I did my um, strength training notebook, and I was talking about like being duplicative of writing like my strength, like the weight size is here and writing that in my notebook. But I was thinking about it because I was explaining it verbally and I couldn't really, maybe I want these both here. And I couldn't really think at the time about why I do that. And then as I started, you know, continuing to utilize both, I realized I need to because here, I am writing everything that I do in that one actual workout. So if I'm doing like, you know, a Peloton workout that was filmed that I'll have on here, you know, it's like from January the 10th and the trainer was Cali or whatever. I'll have all of the weights that I use from that particular workout here. Whereas in my notebook, I am doing them by actual workout type. So I have all my squats together. So because I'm doing them different, it is a little bit different. Ooh, here we go. Perfect. Slow progress is still progress. <laughs> All right, put that there. And then there's another one that actually would be perfect too, but I actually think at some point I'm gonna have to put like a box. So I don't know that I'm gonna do it because I think I'm gonna put one of these boxes. I think I'm gonna have to put this one here. I have the, because it's dot grid over here, I'm like, find it necessary to try to like line it up. And it's still crooked. <laughs> How, guys? How? So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I need to track them in both places. <laughs> so I'm not going to stop tracking the weight size I use here. And who cares if it's duplicative? As long as I don't mind doing the double the work, it's fine, right? All right. So there's a couple of things I can do. I could use one whole box for the size weights that I'm going to do. Are there any, there's bullet points. So I definitely have bullet points. I saw some checklists here. Are there regular checklists in this book? Yes, there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there one more? <laughs> Come on, happy planner. Can y'all see this sticker book? I don't know. All right. So that is the problem is I could easily use these checklists and they would fit perfect. And I would rather use these checklists because of the fact, even though the colors are going to be off, hmm. but I still would rather use them because I'm not going to use them anywhere else. And then if I wanted to keep with the colors here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe I could get through that. I'll just do a quick flip. Now I am going to try to change this up each week as far as how I'm decorating. So I've actually never did the whole center before and I don't know what made me do it. I just started putting stuff down. So yeah, <laughs> that is there. Now I think I'm going to do my bullet points here for my workouts. And why did I pull this dusty rose? Cause that is not, that does not match. It does not match at all guys. And I really need to find my tweezers. I know they're somewhere. They're somewhere on one of my desk. And when I say one of my desks, because I have my actual desk that I'm working on right now, but then I also have my work desk. I just don't know what happened to them. Okay, so I have two sets of tweezers and I am unable to find either one. Um, the, it's quite possible they're where they're supposed to be and I just can't find them because I have so many pins in the same little holder, but whatever that's y'all don't, y'all don't care about that. 
I am going to add, whoops, this is why I need tweezers, but I am going to slowly <laughs> add three dots. Maybe I'll leave room at the top in case I want to, in case I find something to add at the top, like a quote or something. All right. So I'm going to add three dots that I really need tweezers so I can make sure that they're spaced properly, but I'm going to do that off camera. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could fast forward this so I don't have to do it. Um, so that way you guys don't have to sit here through it and then we'll come back and we'll kind of finish this up. I don't really have that much to do. We just have to figure out what I'm going to do as far as food tracking. And then that's pretty much it. All right, you guys. So yes. And look what I found. So excited. It made it go so much faster. And then as I was doing this, I realized that I need to actually add, or I don't need to, but I'm going to add headers here because now that I'm not actually going to be using, um, I'm not going to be having like a workout box. So like listing the actual workout. Do I have any green? I don't think I do. I can use this to just write the actual title of the workout. So if it's upper body, if it's lower body, if it's, you know, something like that. So yeah, I think, hmm, I think that could work. The only issue I'm going to have is I'm going to run out of colors because I've used these before and I think there's only one page so I have these maybe I'll just use these instead I think they'll look better anyway um like I said I'm figuring this out as I go I'm sorry some of you I don't know if y'all would prefer me to have a plan before I start but sometimes even if I have a plan before I start Plans change once you start laying the stickers down or just like I was adding the dots of the bullet points down. And then I was like, you know what? Now that I'm not having an actual, um, not listing the workouts on this page, I'm going to list it on my monthly. I'm like, it would be nice. I mean, I guess if I write the word squats, you can kind of see that I did squats that day, <laughs> but I can write it here. Again, it's more of a quick reference point if I don't want to like look at all the thing if I'm just flipping through. I guess that's kind of the gist of it. All right, this looks nothing like a fitness spread. This would look like a regular <laughs> weekly spread, right? Mm -hmm. Which is perfectly fine, right? <laughs> doesn't have to look like a workout spread just like you can use our fitness stickers and a regular for a regular um spread just because it's like girls working out or fitness motivational quotes doesn't mean it has to be for a fitness planner it can be for any planner your journal or anything all right so i'm liking this so far now i have to add my apple watch stats and I'm sticking with the ones I've already created. I'm not making any new ones or anything like that. So are they going to match? No, but that's okay. So obviously I'm going to put them down here, but I'm guessing we still ask we, um, well, I feel like you guys are helping me. So maybe it is we, I'm thinking I can still use a box. And I can use the box to put some meal stuff in because I still got to figure out what I'm going to do. And we can use these. We can actually use these too, being I'm having the circles. And we can alternate. I don't care if they have, um, if it's gold or any gold foil on it. That's not going to bother me, I don't think. All right. So, again, there's like no green. All right, but there are butterflies. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this one here, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Whoops. Is there gonna be enough room? I 
guess so. We're gonna have to make it enough room. So I'm not gonna write my entire what I ate down. I think I need to start tracking that on my phone. I think the things that I really wanna track is I really need to track my sugar intake. So maybe what I'll do is I'll write that here. All right, I think I'm gonna alternate. And if I alternate, I could do something like this. So I think I want to do sugar intake. So like how much sugar, because that is just something that has been really bad. So what I will have to do, and this is something that I've been, I know that I've been needing to do anyway, is get back to tracking everything in my cell phone. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do the other one. All right. And it's like, I'll just try to match it up with the colors that are above it. I'm gonna put the ways that way you can see what I'm talking about, although it's not that important, but those, I'm just, I don't know why. Again, it, I might find that it's completely pointless to track this. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Basically, sometimes I feel like this should go over some more, huh? Let's see if I can peel this up. I can, it's starting to rip the, the actual sticker underneath. But if I can keep it from ripping over here, doesn't matter that it rips here because I'll cover that up anyway. <laughs> Um, at first I wanted to like cover the little thing up, but I just feel like it need, it just looked weird with all these together. <laughs> I kind of like this. And for like good measure, there's like little butterflies that I think I might put down here too. All right. So now we are on to... this. I guess I can put all the boxes down. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the boxes down. I'm going to speed that up. I only have three more, but I'm still going to speed it up because it might take me a while to figure this out. <clears throat> all right. I love the way this turns out. I just have to figure out the functionality of it which I think is going to be kind of a work in progress as I go through the week. So what I was going to say is sometimes I like to create these spreads early. Um, I am creating this spread a little bit earlier than I usually do. Um, so I usually create them about a week in advance. I'm a little ahead of that, which is fine because again, I'm not actually, I don't actually plan anything. So it's not really as big of a deal. to plan this, like to do this spread in advance. I'm trying to see if there's any little, do I have any more green ones? <laughs> do I have any other little green ones? <laughs> that's the question. I have a lot that's that color. Apparently that color is a very popular color um, across all of these. I think I can bring this guy in. Yeah, so I am doing this one a little early, but I think I'm going to have to hold off on, like, my next one. Just so I can kind of figure out what I'm doing. Like, what I'm tracking. And it might change week for week. So, I think it's fine that I'm doing it early now because this is kind of a plan as I go. Figuring it out. Testing the waters. Um, but I think as the weeks go on. I'm going to be filming these a little bit closer to the start of the week so I can see how it's going. All right, so we have all that. The only other thing I was going to look at is you have these sticker strips somewhere. Why is it that, like, when I'm flipping through to find them, I can't find them, these guys. And I don't know that they are going to match. The only one I would be able to do is like this one. So like if I wanted to, 
I don't know why like the butterflies are running in that direction. That seems a little weird, you know? Not quite sure. I don't like that. I think if the butterflies were kind of running like <laughs> in the opposite direction, because this makes it look like you have to do it vertical. So now I don't even know if I would ever even use these. But I want something along the bottom. And I don't really see any quotes or anything like that. I mean, there's like goals and oh, oh, there is goals. So I think we'll do goals. And of course, there's focus too. So there's focus and goals. And of course, the green is to buy. <laughs> and then the tan color is to do. That's all right. Fortunately, we've already brought this color in, so it's not like <laughs> the end of the world. We had to bring it in over here, so we'll just do goals. Okay. That's not really centered. Whoops. Well, I guess it's going to have to stay there now. <laughs> all right. So I don't think... I can really add anything to the bottom. I don't know that it's necessary. I was just curious because I have this whole sticker book and I really do like it, but I have so many sticker books that when I pull out one, I would like to use more stickers. Just use all the stickers, but I think we might be okay. I think we're fine. So with that said, I am going to, this is the only one that I have to repunch. I'm going to use my we are memory keepers single hole punch. I have that link down below and that is the link to it on the, on Amazon, which is an affiliate, affiliate link as well. So like Amazon will give me a little tiny commission if you do purchase through that link. All right. Um, if this book is still available, which I don't think it is, I will link it down below. If you don't see it linked, it means it's not available. I know this is pretty old. I got this on clearance. But let's pop this on disc and kind of go ahead and wrap this up. All right. So, yeah. There we go. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's really, like, because this is so pretty, now it's making me like the vertical layout for... Uh, fitness tracking just because it looks so pretty and like I said I figure out what these boxes are for which I think I'm going to use it for food tracking I know I'm going to track my sugar intake I might track something else but I don't want to write what I'm eating because I'm not going to keep up with it but something simple as tracking like a certain part of my nutrition I think I can do again my goal is to keep it simple because once it gets complicated I, I don't know it just it gives me an excuse not to do it so that's why i'm trying to keep it simple all right guys so that is all we have for now um we'll see what happens next week again i'm sticking with the vertical layout but we'll see what i change as far as what i'm tracking or anything like that um, by the time next week comes in, I would have started using this to actually track my specific workouts, which again was what I was tracking here. So we'll kind of see how all that goes and we'll kind of check in on that. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And then if you are not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. That is all I have for, have for ugh. <laughs> that is all I have for now. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.